Investigators raided the suspects' homes and found all kinds of police gear, including weapons, cars, and IDs. The three were arrested in Santa Clarita. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is there live now with the bizarre findings. Rachel. Pat and Paul, according to sheriff's investigators here, the suspects claimed they were part of a 3,000-year-old police agency. But when the real police started investigating, they soon found out that the Masonic Fraternal Police Department wasn't legit. Tonight, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department says three people who claim they were police are now on the other side of the law. Investigators say the trio were part of an elaborate fake police department. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really surprised of what's going on. Sherry Algabalawi lives next door to David Henry and Tanette Hayes in Canyon Country. She can't believe the couple, along with Brandon Keel, were arrested for impersonating police. We received confirmation that Keel works for the California Department of Justice, but is now on administrative leave. Investigators say they found weapons, badges, uniforms, police-type cars, and other equipment at their homes. I always see them with, the unif with their uniform, so I thought they were part of any chief department. I didn't know it was something fake. Or... It all started back in January when some local police chiefs received letters from the Masonic Fraternal Police Department saying that David Henry was elected as their chief. Soon, phone calls followed from Keel, who said he was chief deputy director. He asked to meet with each agency's chief. When a captain with the Santa Clarita Sheriff Station met with a group, suspicions grew. May I speak to David Henry, please? <laughs> They're not home. I'm babysitting. We knocked on David Henry's door. The woman inside wouldn't talk to us, but was seen recording us. We found pictures believed to be Henry in full uniform on Google+. And here, Henry and Keel, seen hobnobbing with lawmakers like Maxine Waters in 2012. And here in 2013, Henry and Keel again, with the LAPD, asking for local peaceful protests in the wake of the George Zimmerman verdict. Investigators believe there are other people involved in this organization. They're asking anyone with information to give them a call. Meantime, they're also trying to figure out what the fake department's purpose was. Reporting live tonight in Santa Clarita, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.